For firefighters, dirty uniforms used to be badges of honor. Grime-covered gear meant a first responder had battled blazes and seen serious action. Today's firefighters know better. Grimy, sooty turnout gear contains carcinogens that pose a serious health hazard. In fact, firefighters have a 9% higher risk of contracting cancer and a 14% higher risk of dying from cancer than the general public. The Genoa Township Fire Department in Westerville takes this threat seriously. We have found that the toxic residues are creating cancers, different cancers through the absorb absorption process. Uh, so we wanted to uh, you know, make sure that we were getting this gear as clean as possible. Thanks to a $10,000 grant from BWC's Firefighter Exposure to Environmental Elements Program, the Genoa Township Fire Department recently purchased a new washer extractor that removes dangerous carcinogens and toxins from turnout gear. The machine, which allows gear to be washed before each shift, replaced an older model that no longer worked well and didn't meet the updated requirements of the National Fire Protection Association. We did have a, a previous extractor, but it was a 1995 extractor, so it didn't handle the capacity that we currently have, and it wasn't, uh, just wasn't doing the job. We would clean the gear, it would come back out, and it didn't look like it was being cleaned, to the point where we had to actually send it out to professional gear cleaners. It had you know, so much residue on it. The grant is one of 199 firefighter grants BWC has awarded this fiscal year, totaling $2 million. It's part of our attempt to also raise awareness. We're, we're changing the culture of firefighters because for so long it was a badge of honor to have sooty and dirty equipment because it meant they were a veteran and they'd been out fighting the good fight. But we know now that the soot is carcinogenic and has toxic chemicals in it, so it's also part of our education process. So we want to make an investment to make firefighters aware of the importance of taking care of themselves and taking care of their equipment. This program has been so successful that BWC recently expanded its funding and plans to award $4.7 million in grants this fiscal year. I would recommend it to any other department that's taking cancer prevention seriously.